Hi, this is Diane Love to Bake, and what we're going to make are white chocolate oatmeal cookies. So let's get started. Um, you can do this, of course, with your hand mixer. I'm going to use my stand-up mixer. I'm starting off with one cup of butter that I've had at room temperature, and I did cut it up into small pieces. So again, it's easier to cream and break up, and it's just a lot faster. So I'm going to do that. that you're going to do is you're going to need brown sugar. So you need one cup of brown sugar. And I'll uh, start putting that in. And that was one cup. I'm going to just raise my speed and warn you about the sound. Okay, the next thing we're going to put in is one cup of granulated sugar. All right. One of the reasons, of course, that I'm raising my speed is so that the video can, you know, move along quickly. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to need two eggs. I'm going to put them one at a time till they're well blended into this mixture. There's the second one. And I'm going to raise my speed. Okay, and then I'm just going to quickly clean the sides of my mixing bowl here and get to the bottom. Okay. And then we're going to be putting in vanilla. So you're going to need two teaspoons of vanilla into the cream mixture. And then just beat everything till it's well combined, very smooth, and very silky. Okay, now to our dry ingredients. You're going to need three cups of all-purpose flour. We're going to put in one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt. And then with my spoon, I'm just going to stir this up a, li in a little bit into the bowl here with my spoon. And then I'm going to start slowly putting the uh, dry with the wet. And just do a little at a time till your cookie dough starts to form. And you can see it really doesn't take much time to do that. And put a little bit more flour in. And beat that in. Okay, and that's the flour mixture. And then I'm going to raise my speed, warn you about the sound again. We've got a really nice creamy mixture. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is start putting in well the oats. And you're going to be using one and a half cups of oats, rolled oats. And I'll just beat those in real quickly. And here comes our white chocolate. You can use whatever brand that you prefer, and you're going to use two cups of white chocolate. Now you can uh, put these in and, and just mix them in by hand, but I like to um, put them in with my mixer. I just try not to turn it on too, uh, uh, you know, too fast because I don't want to break the chips up. Now you can put nuts in, or you can leave them out. It's up to you. Uh, but a chopped pecan goes really well with re uh, this recipe, but so do walnuts. I mean, so do peanuts. It's really going to be up to you. Or even macadamia nuts are delicious with this recipe. So, um, you know, you decide whatever chopped nut that you prefer uh, and put that in. And then I'm just going to give it one last turnaround here. Okay. And lifting out my paddle here and taking off the excess 
cookie dough. Now you're going to be baking these cookies at 375 degrees and they're going to take you anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes. So I start watching mine, oh my gosh, around 9, nine minutes, 8, 9 minutes, that kind of thing. Because as we realize, all ovens set up so differently. And there you have this beautiful, chunky, white chocolate. You can see all the morsels and the nuts that are um, in this. They really, these cookies, well, the people are just gonna love them when, when they try them. Now, the next thing, of course, you're gonna need a cookie sheet or cookie tray uh, pan, and you're gonna need to lightly grease it, um, okay? And then I'm using my small cookie scoop, and I generally get about 50 cookies out of this recipe. And then just space your cookies apart, at least about three inches apart, because they are going to spread a bit, that type of thing. But once again, 375, 10 to 12 minutes. Now when they come out of the oven, just let them sit on the hot uh, pan for just a minute or so, and then transfer them, of course, to a cooling rack till you're ready to plate them, um, that type of thing, okay? I'm going to quickly rinse my hands because I'm just handling raw eggs. And I'd like to show you what these cookies look like once they're baked up. And here they are. They make such a delicious, chewy, crunchy oatmeal white chocolate chip cookie. They'll bake up a beautiful um, golden brown. Um, you can see on the top and the bottom. And then when you break open into them, all the chewiness of this cookie, yet it'll be crunchy on the uh, top, and then it will be crisp on, uh, semi-crisp on the top, and then very nicely crisp on the bottom. And then you'll see those beautiful white chocolate chips in there and the nuts that you've chosen to put in this recipe. Well, there you have it, white chocolate oatmeal cookies. Pretty easy to make and absolutely delicious. You've got to try this recipe. And if you do, leave a comment because I'd like to hear from you. And as always, I want to thank you for watching Diane Love to Bake. And please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon.